Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are JK Builders. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps out the channel a whole bunch and it's very much appreciated. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a review of a set, but the alternate build of the set. We are going to review the rebrickable version of the Sesame Street Lego set. Jackson, it doesn't really matter what this box says, but tell us about the box. Well, 18 plus, the item number is 21324, and it is 1,367 pieces. Yeah. So I was a big fan of Sesame Street when I was a little kid. I'll admit it. I watched it all the time. I knew all the songs. I knew all the characters. I was a big fan of the show when I was little. Oh, I want to watch it. When they announced the set, I was pretty stoked. However, it's a set that didn't really fit in with any of the genres that we collect, and it didn't really fit in as a building that we could incorporate into our Lego city. That was until someone created the Rebrickable version on Rebrickable.com. So we do have an alternate build that is a modular that enables us to use the building in our Lego city because it has four walls that go all the way around and it fits on a mills plate and will be added to our city. So it's pretty cool. Um, this one, on the other hand, you know, it has open backs. It's more of a vignette style. So it's more of like a little play set for kids, even though it is an 18 plus set. But anyway, we are super excited to get this and build that uh, modular version so that we could put it in our city. Uh, on the back of the box, it shows you how this set opens up. Obviously, ours doesn't do any of this, but it does have some similar, uh, some similar looking locations within the build. They just don't open up to the back. So anyway, let's uh, check out the instruction book that it comes with. So here's the instruction book that it comes with, and it's actually pretty cool. We didn't use it at all because we just used the one on the computer, but it um, has the minifigs there. And then on the back, it says Sesame Street. Um, on the inside, it did have some tidbits of information as well as some pretty cool pictures. So, I mean, I think it's worth having for sure. Um, and I'm sure it is a fun set to build if you build it the regular way. But like I said, we wanted to be able to incorporate this into our city. And so that is what we are going to do. So that is the gist of the instruction book. It's about 245 pages. Um, the one that I did ended up being about 195 pages. So it was quite a bit fewer pages. This was 245. Huh. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's a lot of fun either way that you do it. I think it'd be fun to build it the way it's intended or to do the rebrickable modular version if you want to put it in your city. Either way, I think it's going to be a really great set. But let's go ahead and check out the build. All right, so here is the set in modular form. There you go, it has four sides, just like I mentioned. We will check that out in just a second, but first we're gonna look at the minifigs. So this has amazing minifigures. I absolutely love them. So first up, we have Bert. <laughs> now Bert, of course, has the tall head, spiky hair. Um, he has the little stubby legs, but they do actually bend, which is cool. He's got that classic striped Bert t-shirt on. Um, just, I guess it's more of a sweater, but very cool minifigure. These are highly detailed. I, I think they're really, really great. Um, next up, we have his counterpart, Ernie. He's got the classic Ernie hairstyle, the big red nose, the striped sweater on as well. Now, he has legs that are stubby but do not articulate, which I thought was interesting. Uh, maybe just because he's a shorter character. They didn't give him the bendy legs, but really, really cool. Um, next up, we have Elmo. Um, again, he does not have articulating legs either, but he is all red with a very cool uh, molded head with the eyeballs there on top. Uh, very nice. Next up, we have Cookie Monster. Uh, he's all blue, so very, very similar. He has short legs, but they are uh, bendy. Um, then he's got the big eyes on top, and uh, yeah, he looks furry like a monster. Very cool. Of course, these all come with their own accessories as well. Uh, most of them we didn't really use. We just kind of have them in our spare parts. Uh, next up, we have Big Bird. Now, this is a, probably my favorite in the set. Um, he has the striped legs that look just like the ones he has on the show. He has the he has the wings on the side, and then he has this large piece that goes up over the top, and it's kind of the rubbery style, but it's very cool how they did that. It's kind of like uh, you see like with a Chewbacca. Jackson, when you pull that apart, I can't do it with one hand. Where you have the torso piece has the wings on it, and then it has the piece that goes up over the top that includes the head, tail, back, chest, um, but highly detailed, and I think it looks really, really good. They absolutely nailed these minifigs. And then last but not least, you have uh, Oscar the Grouch. Um, this is probably the least detailed of them all, um, yeah. but you know, he is in a garbage can. So he just has like the little green torso for the body and then the head and then the lid goes on for his hat. So um, that's probably 
the worst of the minifigs just because he is lacking in detail but and he's a grouch so yeah he's a grouch anyway so we don't really care but anyway those are the minifigs super awesome minifigures two four six minifigures that it comes with and like i said they all come with just a host of uh, accessories and things that they can play with and and interact with which i think is really awesome um, now checking out the set, we have the modular version that we built from rebrickwall.com. Oscar the Grouch just sits right there on the front doorstep, just like we would see on the show. Uh, just tons and tons of little details in this set, which are awesome. Of course, I built it on the Mills plate, which I can add to our city. Um, so looking at the front of the building, you have the Sesame Street here, or the Sesame Street sign here with the light post. Um, you have a little garbage can right here, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, you got a fire hydrant. You got Oscar the Grouch sitting there next to the porch. You got the steps that lead to the front door. Uh, I think it all looks very similar to what you would see in Sesame Street, like the TV show. So very cool windows. These are open with the window seals. Um, on the roof, you got some details. You got like a AC unit kind of thing, a TV antenna, and then a smokestack right there. Um, we added some additional birds that it comes with, as well as there's a pet dinosaur up there as well. Uh, we have a bat on the back and a rubber ducky. <laughs> so um, coming around to the back of the building, Lots of cool details back here too. You have a little ladder that's like a fire escape, which is actually supposed to go like that. Um, you have a window seal here that has some milk on it and some flowers. Um, you have the back door, which opens and closes, as well as a little uh, canopy that goes up over the top. Um, it's very nice flowers growing here and a little table so for you to have like a little picnic outside. Um, some nice plants and vegetation. Um, on the sides, it is a little bit random, so. You do have a couple of windows here. This goes into the bathroom on the inside. Um, but yeah, the pieces are a little bit random. So you're definitely gonna wanna hide the sides of this building, which normally you will um, hide the sides against another modular building. So it's not gonna be too big of a deal. Uh, but if you do leave these sides exposed, it is gonna look a little bit um, messy, <laughs> I would say. Um, but yeah, so that is the gist of the outside. Let's go ahead and open it up and check out the interior of this building. All right, Jackson's gonna take off the roof first. Whoops. Got that fell off. And then the front portion comes off. Oops, I just broke that. And then the front portion comes off like this. And we see the bedroom. So this is going to be like Bert and Ernie's bedroom, I'd assume, since it has a picture of them on the wall. I'm not really sure. But um, on top of the bed, it has a box of paper clips. you got lots of pictures on the wall, some trophies, a little golden frog, maybe like an eight ball thing. And then you have the shower right here. Kind of weird that you have the shower right there in the middle of the room with the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but yeah, lots of cool little details. You have the, let's see, this is a light overhead. You got like the little shower faucet right here and then the faucet there for the, the tub. Uh, and then this is the shower curtain right here. So of course it's got a small rug. It's got a cool little bed, lots of cool little details. A dresser here with the night with the light on top. Um, just lots of fun. Um, on the other wall that you remove, it has a TV there that's hanging on the wall. Um, as well as a little shelf, and then you got the couple of windows there, which looks pretty cool. So lots of little play features and details um, on the inside of this as well. Um, if we remove this section now, of course it's all modularized. Modularized. On the inside of there, you have another bedroom. Um, so you have the bed, you have some pictures hanging on the wall, you get a nice rug. Um, you have a dresser there that has a rocket and a goldfish, and then you have the front doors. So some cool little details in there as well. Uh, but for us, of course, we're gonna put this in our city. Um, it might get opened up and played with a little bit, but not a whole lot. So the interior details aren't as important, but I thought it was pretty awesome that they were all included in this set. All right, Jackson, the rebrickable modular version of the Sesame Street Lego set. What are some of the things you like about this set? Well, I really like all the minifigs, um, just all the new head molds. Um, I think are really, really cool. And then I like the interior detail on the building itself, so. Yeah, it's very cool. It's, uh, it's, it's one that I, that I waited on for a long time. I really thought about getting it for quite some time before we f finally took the plunge. It's actually my brother Ryan bought this one, uh, built it, and then sold it to me. Um, I decided to buy it because I wanted to add it to our city. We have a perfect space for it. We're going to show you where we place this on our future LEGO City video here coming up in the next couple of days. Uh, so be sure to check that out. We're going to actually rearrange some stuff in our city to get this to fit and also provide uh, space for future expansion. We have a lot of sets coming and a lot of big plans for the LEGO City, so be sure to stay tuned to that. Um, but yeah, I agree. The minifigs are absolutely amazing. Um, the look of this building I think is great. They nailed the look of Sesame Street. Um, if I had to have a few complaints, it is a little bit small. 
Um, I wish it was a little bit bigger. One of my biggest complaints though, let me show you, is this right here. I could build my own sesame street. With there that. were tons of leftover pieces. Like I bet, I bet a third of the pieces went unused in this set, which is really disappointing. Really quite a bummer. I wish they would have found a way to make it a little bit larger and incorporate some of these uh, pieces. Uh, there are just a ton. Uh, so that's going to be my biggest gripe. If you were going to buy this set, it goes for $119 brand new. Um, if you're going to buy it, just know that if you do the rebreakable modular version, you're going to end up with a lot of unused pieces. So you're really not getting your full value out of the set. Or maybe you just missed a lot. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. <laughs> so anyway, as far as buying the set, just keep that in mind. I think if you're using all the pieces and building it, you're going to get a lot more value out of it. Of course, I put a lot of value into the fact that I can put this in the city and it's going to add to the look and feel of the city and going to be able to have a little Sesame Street scene in our city. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. For that reason, I think it's worth it. But the value is is certainly there when you, when you take into consideration um, the minifigures and the amount of detail that the set has. All right, so there it is, the rebrickable modular version of the Sesame Street Lego set. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep on building. <laughs>